Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on April 14th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Happy hump day everybody. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Looking at world weather, space weather and anything affecting humanity. Starting out here looking at the sun as we have large plasma filaments that did project an earth facing CME. Now we're looking at the plasma filament leaving there from earlier. But then there was another one here that lifted right there. Looking at the incoming and outgoing images of the last 48 hours of the sun, that little glitch is just a calibration in the SDO satellite. But looking here, the southern hemisphere, you can see both sides reacting with plasma. And definitely that plasma there was shot out towards us. Looking here at the SDO A1A, you can really see the chronosphere being affected by a lot of action on the backside of the sun. And now we have an earth facing sunspot and as well coronal hole. So all of a sudden space weather is abundance. A CME, a coronal hole and a sunspot and a large plasma filament making its way southward from the northern region. But looking at this deepening and earth-facing coronal hole, we will expect some space weather soon. Things are about to change. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3, you can see just in that last couple images there, something was definitely thrown our way. You can see the whole southern part of the chronosphere. Kind of a wave coming out towards us right there. Amazing stuff. Another close look here. The plasma. Because it was definitely a CME. A plasma filament rip away. Those were the two CMEs from la a few days ago. Looking here at the annual spiral as it has changed. Look at this. There's a lot of energy coming from the sun right now. Heads up. Looking at a real-time solar wind as we are steady at about 350 kilometers per second. And watch for that all to change over the next 48 hours to 72 hours, the next two to three days for sure. Looking the temperature increasing over the last couple hours. And this is how our magnetosphere looks being affected by our wind, our solar winds. Looking at the Schumann resonance for today, we're at a power of 29. Still just a buzz, but a good buzz, I guess I would say. Quality of 11.9 and a power of 29. As long as we are not in the red there, we're good. Now, earthquakes, a rare earthquake here today hitting Skellytown, Texas, a 4.3 at an eight kilometer depth. That's pretty rare for the earth, for that area that's North Texas, Skellytown, We've seen lots of earthquakes here in White City and as well Southern Texas towards the border with Mexico. 4.1 ringing off here. Southern Mexico as well Nicaragua with a 4.6. A 5.7 here in Galapagos Islands. Triple Junction region. That's the largest earthquake the last 24 hours. Looking at seismicity coming back to the Caribbean plate. Puerto Rico is a shocking kind of seems like it's got some more magma to let go. So heads up everybody in the Caribbean thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected. West coast, pretty quiet. 
largest reported quake 2.6 as well hawaii pretty quiet today largest reported 2.5 5.0 here in tonga region not very deep and that's something we're not observing right now the last 24 hours are deep earthquakes and considering what we've seen recently we have to ex expect something here looking at guam there with a 4.6 philippines 4.8 and Taiwan, wow, look at Taiwan. Got to wonder what's going on there. Three pretty sizable earthquakes, 4.3 ranging to 4.7, all 10 kilometer depth. As well, a couple earthquakes here in Japan, 4.4, 4.3. Quiet through Alaska. And then Cinnabung, Ind Cinnabang, Indonesia, that's right by the Cinnabung volcano. 5.5 reported there and as well 5.1 reported here indonesia that's right by krakatoa so the volcanic events continue and the earthquakes around the volcanoes continue 4.3 there afghanistan south american plate pretty quiet only 3.6 and a 4.3 there in chile but that's the deepest earthquake 137 kilometer depth what's up with that i mean considering when you look at the last seven days for earthquakes many elevated rings it just seemed to be a pattern but now it's gone quiet going through an earthquake lull largest 5.7 there galapagos islands it's too quiet through the cascades too quiet but rare earthquakes now popping up with the new madrid the New Madrid fault line. Quiet through the African plate, increasing activity through the Indian plate and over into West Ring of Fire. But definitely the Ring of Fire is very active right now. So you got to wonder what's up. Especially you got to wonder what's up across the North American plate. Because basically, not everybody knows this, but there's a New Madrid fault that pretty much runs in this direction and circles around up into the Rockies. Meanwhile, you've got constant subduction into the North American plate from the Pacific plate. So this earthquake, rare, maybe, for our time in Texas, something's coming up in Texas. Just saying. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, we do have a tornado warning to report in Raleigh, North Carolina. Having a look at the most recent volcanoes, Fuego in Guatemala, Dakono in Indonesia, as well Sufri in St. Vincent, Kedavor, Papua New Guinea, Pacaya in Guatemala. Many fires, floods, droughts to report. Sabancaya in Peru, Popo in Mexico, Raventador in Ecuador. Era in Japan, Sange in Ecuador, Swiss and Najima in Japan, Cinnabung, Indonesia. So that's what we're going through here still. Urung, Indonesia, Karamiski, Russia, Nevada, Sicilian. So that's about 15 volcanoes actively erupting today. Well, getting updated of an active and eruption. And we're looking at many eruptions through Sufri. And now we're looking at a classified category one typhoon right now but will be and is projected turn into a category four typhoon and most likely will be grazing the coast of the philippines through merida most likely as a category four typhoon now hopefully it jets northward a lot sooner than it's projected to i would really hate to see this typhoon hit the shorelines of the philippines they've seen enough rain and flooding conditions across the region so thoughts and prayers who will be affected there let's check out the world weather forecast brought to you by medio earth and medio mike starting out here looking at calgary alberta and yeah that's snow that is snow moving through calgary on sunday night right after we get some really warm temperatures go figure we've got a large pacific low spinning off the coast bringing up that great equatorial pacific 
warm air. But at the same time, there's a strong high pressure ridge just north of us coming down quickly. And it's going to bring some strong northeasterly winds. And yes, we're getting snow from pretty much Brooks or sorry, uh, Grand Prairie and southward through the foothills. Expect a pretty good amount of snow over the next well over Sunday into Monday. Watch for extreme weather through the Gulf states as that low pressure system moves out of Colorado finally. But it could be a nasty situation in the long range forecast through the Gulf as that low gets ready to set over the Gulf. Like just huge one getting ready to sit there. So heads up my American friends all along the East Coast. Watch for extreme weather and heavy rains and throughout Ontario it's going to feel like spring for a few days, but then back to cool temperatures and then back to spring like temperatures. But definitely spring is coming. And high pressure ridge over the Hudson Bay, keeping things cool across Quebec. Overlooking the Atlantic, strong high pressure ridge south of the big low pressure system spinning up into Greenland. Now that's that large low that we're observing over the last week or so finally letting loose into Greenland and is now heading over into uh, Iceland in the long range forecast overlooking Europe low pressure system here kind of trapped stuck in the middle with two high pressure ridges and as well a low pressure system moving in from the Mediterranean they could join forces there so through central parts of Europe Watch for cooler temperatures to stick around and as well rain, but dry through the UK and west parts of Europe. High pressure ridge hanging out. Overlooking Africa, no major weather systems, except for the coastal rains that seems to be continuing through Zimbabwe. And as well through the Marriott Islands. Overlooking Asia. Rain continuing and hanging around through parts of Thailand and into southeast China. No major weather systems for the West or East Indies. Daily evaporation rain through Indonesia, Malaysia. But then here is the track of tropical cyclone, but will be a typhoon, typhoon surrogate. And you can see here in the long range forecast, it's going to be a tightly whipped typhoon. It's no wonder they want to bring up the scale for the hurricanes and the typhoons to possibly a six because this is going to be a beast and let's hope that it stays away from the philippines so thoughts and prayers to everybody who will be affected by typhoon surrogate we're looking at a very vigorous and active pacific ocean right now and atlantic for that matter looking across australia cool temperatures to really move in there and a little bit of rain through Sydney, coastal regions in central Australia, but no major weather systems for you either. New Zealand, cool temperatures as well, moving to you. And you, a little bit, a few dry days before another system heads your way from New Caledonia. Overlooking Hawaii, no major weather systems there to talk about either. Strong, dominant, high pressure ridge there finally get swallowed and moved northward but then not before a huge low pressure system here forms and joins forces yet again it's it's a reoccurring thing here overlooking south america daily evaporation rains heavy towards panama and then later in the week here towards the weekend watch for heavy rains mountainous regions through paraguay bolivia and as well the border with brazil and then, as well, we do have a pretty large low pressure system heading into southern parts of Argentina. Not many people live down there, but that's a pretty big system to be affecting coastline. In the leave you here, looking at the northern hemisphere, and as well, the interesting and rare systems that are happening across our planet right now. Thank you, everyone, for sharing Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, we are getting very close to 35,000 followers across the world. Prayers for humanity. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.